Hi everybody and welcome to Free Range Diva. Today we're going to go through my empties. These are going to be skincare empties, so face, body, even scalp slash hair care is going to, I'm going to go through today. And in a little bit of a twist, I thought it might be fun if I showed you some of the things that I am replacing my empties products with. So these are empty products, products I've used up, a few replacements because actually I have pared down a lot and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it and this will give me a, a little bit of a chance to talk about some things that you may not have seen before and give you kind of mini reviews. So let's get started. Usually I just throw everything into these videos, but today we're going to do this in an organized manner. So I am going to start with cleansers. This is from a luxury skincare brand called Mahalo. This is their Cleanser Melt Concentrate. I used all of it. This is one of those cleansers that I have purchased multiple times. Uh, and it's because in terms of just getting off your makeup and getting your face really clean with one shot, uh, one sh it, because it goes on like an oil, it turns in, you add water, it turns into a milky cleanser, giving you a second cleanse. And when you've rinsed, your makeup is gone. The only reason I haven't purchased like number seven or eight jars of these is because of the price. I wanted to try some things that are uh, a little less expensive, but so far uh, <laughs> I'm still missing this. So when the um, sales during Thanksgiving rolls around, <sighs> the Black Friday sales, yeah, I'll probably have to, at that point, I'll probably repurchase it. But it is just, it's just a perfect, perfect cleanser. Uh, this is another oiled cleansing, cleansing oil from Zion Health, their Ancient Minerals Makeup Remover and Cleansing Oil, and this unfortunately went bad. Oh, by the way, that Mahalo product has a very light, beautiful lime vanilla scent. It has gone bad and I didn't get through it, but one of the reasons is because the scent is very strong. It's a very herbal scent. Uh, but otherwise, it, it uh, dissolves your makeup and then you tissue this off with a warm washcloth. And this is very affordable and Zion Health is a great company that makes really good products. From Pacifica, this is their Seafoam Complete Face Wash. Uh, I do have another one of these in another uh, formulation that I'm working, working through right now. This is fine. Maybe at some point I might repurchase this, but right now... The cleanser that I'm using to get off makeup and get my skin clean is the uh, Squalene Amino Acid Gentle Cleanser from Biosance. This does all of it. I put it on um, with water. It removes your makeup. I do a second cleanse to make sure everything is off. And uh, it's just a very easy one and done product that you can use in the evening or even in the day when you want a gentle face wash. Toner. There's just one, it's the rose water toner and that from a uh, heritage store. And that is honestly because I have a lot of toners <laughs> that I'm like three or four that I'm working through right now. But uh, this is just a simple formula. It's uh, Damascus rose uh, oil and deionized vortexed magnetized water. And it's wonderful. It's one of those things that I spritz on, on my face, on my body, uh, everywhere. If you, especially if you just like a light rose water scent. And it's affordable. And did I say that I have already repurchased that? I have. It's a multi-repurchase product. The next category is going to be serums. And I have from Eyelet their Defense Patrol Serum. I almost made it through this uh, before it did go off. This is a really nice antioxidant serum and if I had used it consistently I would have gotten through it. This is this is a very expensive product so I you know I want to let you know that if you do get this and you use it consistently uh, you will get through it before it goes off so just uh, know that I let is just a, um, a really beautifully formulated all natural very clean sustainable green product so if you're interested, I give them two gigantic thumbs up. 
and I'll, when I move to moisturizers, I have another one to talk to you about. But before we leave serums, the Squalane and Phyto Retinol Serum from Biosense. <coughs> this one I did not um, see. It was just fine. There are other serums that I use that where I really uh, either either I see uh, a difference or the process of using it is so nice, like uh, the like. Um, you know, my skin just really feels nice using them. This was somewhere just kind of in the middle of the road for me. It's one of the few Biosense products that I probably wouldn't repurchase only because I have a couple of really nice serums right now and I'm loving those. But if you've been curious, I would say definitely it's worth giving it a try. It's got Bakuchiol in it, so uh, hence the phytoretinol part, and then the Squalane makes it really hydrating. Sorry if I keep sniffing. I don't know why I've got like allergies going today, but okay. From Skin Diva, they're 20% Argireline with Hyaluronic Acid Amitrixyl 3000 Serum. I've purchased many, many bottles of this, and uh, I'm this is my last one because I've switched, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, I've loved using Skin Diva, but I, over this past year especially, I was just seeing a lot more fine lines, deepening of wrinkles, things that this should have at least mitigated. So moved on from that and went back to from uh, Asterwood Naturals, their Pure Argireline Serum. I think that my skin just doesn't do, Matrixyl just doesn't do anything for my skin, but Argireline really does. So uh, I picked this up again. I have a very old video of me reviewing this that still gets views and I still get questions about it. So I figured I loved it. It's about time I went back to it. And having used it maybe a week, two weeks, I'm already seeing an improvement in fine lines and wrinkles and in moisturization. This is a very, uh, it's got, a, it must have a lot of hyaluronic acid in it because you can really feel it when you apply this. It's a thick, viscous serum, and it's very, very hydrating. So, highly recommend. Masks. <laughs> I've got a few. This one, the Hydro Line Smoothing Hydro Mask from City Beauty. Perfectly fine. I've used several different kinds of these biocellulose masks, and uh, they all do a great job at plumping up that skin, giving you a temporary glow, and this one was great. I mean, I, I have no complaints. Uh, it was uh, really just a nice uh, life-changing no, but it does what you want a plumping mask to do. From Andalou Naturals, I went through a couple of these uh, mask pods. You can try all the masks in their line by purchasing these little pod things. They come like this. They're usually a couple of bucks. I can get two or three uses out of them. This one was the Instant Brightening Pumpkin and Honey Face Mask. Beautiful mask. Great price. Uh, gives you the brightness and leaves your skin feeling really nice. From, again, Andalou, this one is the Lift and Firm Face Mask. Uh, marula Oil and Purple Clay. I've had, there you go, that's what it looks like. I've had several of these. Uh, I always... If I'm in the store and I happen to see, you know, the Andalou display, I'll grab one because this is a really nice one and done. It's a clay mask, so you get uh, um, the clarifying, the drawing out of the, the pores and any kind of congestion. Uh, it's got a lot of hydrating ingredients in there, so your skin is left really, really soft. And so it's just a basic, really nice all-around face mask. And then as far as basic all-around face masks from Lialani, the mermaid mask. I did a video on this. Uh, I love this mask so much. Uh, unfortunately, it kind of got pushed to the back of the drawer and I forgot that I had it. So it did uh, kind of dry up on me. Oh no, I, well, I got through more than I thought I did, but uh, it did, you know, dry up on me at the end. This does so much. It feeds the skin. It's smooth. It's got, um, exfoliating, light exfoliation going on in here uh, in the form of sugar and algae and it's got uh, hydrating ingredients, moisturizing ingredients, it's got facial oils, it's got 
everything that you could want in a face mask. It's got sea clay, so you've got the drawing and con anti-congestion stuff going on with br overall brightening, uh, smoothing, and um, this uh, is definitely, you want just one mask that can do everything, here you go. You're welcome. And at the moment, uh, I am using up all of my masks. I'm almost done with everything. I have one left that I'm finishing off. And then I have no masks at all because my skin has not been uh, happy <laughs> with the masks that I've been using. Uh, it wants more of a simpler physical exfoliation. I think I've been doing too much chemical exfoliation, you know, fruit acids and things like that. So for the time being, I'm laying low on masks when I am ready to purchase another mask. It's going to be this one. And then I will just have one and that will be it. Next up is going to be moisturizers. And there are a few. I've got a few. Um, I'll start with this one first. This is actually a lip moisturizing mask. It's from Elia. Uh, I forget the, the actual name of it. It's got one of those long names, but it's basically their lip lip wrap. That's what they call it. Put it on at night, wake up at the more, in the morning with beautifully soft lips, and I have another one already. From Eyelet, this is their Opulence Moisturizer. I left just a little bit in there. You can see the pink color. This one is a little bit more of a creamy, hydrating moisturizer. Definitely someone that someone with dry skin would like. As I recall, the texture is very creamy and it's got a lot of really good things in it that will, you know, help to support your skin. The, the stuff <laughs> that you want uh, a good moisturizer to do, it does it in spades. Also from Mahalo, this is one of the foundational products on this line. This is the Mahalo Balm, beautiful nighttime oil type moisturizer. It's a very thick, it's a balm. It's not uh, an oil. I mean, it turns into an oil when you apply it to the face, but it's got the things in there that it's got a lot of really good ingredients that again, feed and nourish the skin overnight. And when you wake up in the morning, you've got that beautiful, soft skin that we all like. This kind of is one of those products that built Mahalo's line. Again, it's a luxury line out of Hawaii and all of their products are scented with the natural ingredients of the islands. So some things smell a lot like uh, the, the flowers, the tropical flower scents and tropical herb scents. So um, if you don't like scented products, Mahalo's not for you, but if you want that sort of aromatherapy and tropical goodness, then yeah, <laughs> check it out. Dr. Hauschka is uh, an OG green beauty line out of Germany, and this is their Quince Day Cream. Their Rose Day Cream is a, a classic, and this Quince Day Cream is not far behind. Uh, it comes out very thick, but actually, it's it's a very lightweight moisturizer, perfect for the day. I haven't been disappointed by any product that I've gotten from Dr. Hauschka. Same with this. Uh, this has just been a lovely uh, cream and I'm so glad that I have the opportunity to use it. It came in one of the Whole Foods beauty bags. Again, oh, Dr. Hauschka also uses a lot of botanicals in their products and so their products do smell like the botanicals uh, that they use. So if you don't like that, if you want something unscented, then Dr. Hauschka is not for you. I tend to go both ways. I can appreciate a product like this with really nice aromatherapy and really nice ingredients because uh, I like the way it smells. If I didn't like it, I would, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to use it, but I really do like everything ever, that I've tried from Dr. Hauschka, scented or not. And then of course, my obsession, the Squalane Probiotic Gel Moisturizer from Biosance. I have another one. I don't know how the I don't have the words to express how 
perfect this moisturizer is for me. Whether you uh, use it in the day or the night, it's, it's a gentle brightening formula, very lightweight. Gel moisturizer is exactly the consistency. It's not a cream. Uh, it's definitely got a very lightweight that just, it just flies over the skin and then gets absorbed really quickly and it leaves you with that trademark Biosance Glow. My, your skin just looks so healthy and happy. At least mine does. Uh, this is for people with sensitive skin uh, and it doesn't have a fragrance that I can detect. Let me just... Yeah, it doesn't... It sort of smells kind of clean-ish, but honestly, it's so faint. And Biosance is a great company. They're they're very, they have a strong sustainable pro policy. Their ingredients are beautiful, well-crafted, science-based, and their products, uh, I, I, they are the foundation for my skincare routine. Uh, An eye cream, this is the Antipodes eye cream. I loved using this, I used it all up. I have not repurchased it because I haven't gotten around to getting a new eye cream yet, uh, but I, I really wanna try Biosance's eye cream, so I may try that before I go back to this if it turns out that I like this one better. But I have loved using this eye cream. No milia or any kind of irritation. It leaves the under eye area very plumped and moist and makeup just goes over it really nicely. Uh, for facial sunscreens, this is actually, <laughs> was, <laughs> I should have gotten the full bottle so you could actually see what this looks like. Okay, so I fixed it so you can see it a little better. This is the Squalane and Zinc Sheer Mineral Sunscreen. Uh, it's a physical sunscreen. It's rich enough that you can use this as a moisturizer if you have normal to oily skin. And I use it over the probiotic gel from Biosots. And then it really makes your skin glowy. But uh, it's at this time of year, it's very easy for me even to use it as just a straight up daily moisturizer and then you're getting your SPF 30 protection as well. And yes, uh, I have already repurchased this product. Also, I went through a daily sheer sunscreen from Bobo Botanicals. This is SPF 40. This is lightweight. Uh, you do rub it in a little bit, but I don't get any kind of white cast with it. And uh, I have, a, have already repurchased it again. This is kind of a hybrid product, so I will talk about it now. Uh, this is the 100% um, Moroccan Argan Oil from Acure. This is one of those things that I use on my face. I use it on my body. I use it on my hair. Uh, so, I don't, you know, it's an all-around oil that you can use anywhere and it's affordable. And Acure makes a lot of these one ingredient oils, uh, Argan Oil being just one of like three or four different, like they have Marula and a few others. Uh, okay, continuing with body. Ooh, yeah, okay. From Osmia, this was their Sunset Body Oil. I have raved and raved and raved about this oil, and yes, I bought another one. Uh, it just smells so amazing. It's so lightweight. It's one of those, you can tell the difference between this and a product like in a cure, for example, or the product I'm about to talk about next. Uh, this, uh, you can tell that this is a luxury um highly absorbent, quickly absorbent body oil, and I'll never be without it, ever. <laughs> and then this other body oil is just sort of, um, it's, it's an okay for what it is. It's very affordable. Uh, this is the Desert Essence Jojoba and Sunflower Body Oil, um, and this is just a really nice body moisturizer that is you can get at the drugstore. It's a good formulation, and uh, it you know it's perfect to use every day on your skin. And I'm not quite out of this yet. I'll be out of it in a couple of days, but I did want to talk about it now because I want to show you what I'm using on my body uh, once you, now that this is almost done. Also, uh, another I went through a clear clear shea butter. 24 hour dry skin relief body lotion. And there we go. I do, I cut my stuff so that I can use all of it up, but that's what it looks like. 
This is actually a body, more of a body cream. It's not really lotion. It's very thick. It delivers on the 24 hour moisturization, especially on drier parts of the body, like for example, my legs. Uh, this is the second one of these tubes that I've purchased. It's for sensitive skin. It's hypoallergenic. It doesn't have a scent. It doesn't have anything in here other than what is necessary to really hydrate and keep your skin moisturized and soft and smooth all day long. So I didn't repurchase this yet. Again, like I said, this is my second tube of this. And I know that come winter time, I will get a third. But right now I'm using something else. This is it. <laughs> I went to Sprouts and I bought uh, their house brand moisturizing body lotion. Uh, and this is just a basic body lotion. 32 fluid ounces was on, normally $9.99 on sale for $7.99 the day that I got it. So this is going to last a really long time. This is in the fig and black tea scent. Now the only downside to this product is they don't make an unscented version. At least there wasn't one in my sprouts. But this fig and black tea is very soft, doesn't last at all. And I am obsessed with a fig perfume that I bought. Um, it's the uh, debaser scent from DS and Durga. Uh, and I've been wearing that every day. And so I, this fig goes nicely with it. I get that fig when I put this on and then I get more fig when I, when I spray that on. So I'm a figgy girl and I'm very happy. And then last, finally, hair. Um, nothing new here. I've been through, I go through Innersense. That's what I use. I use the Innersense hydrating line. I've got their hydrating hair mask here and the Sweet Spirit Leave-In here. I have repurchased both of these products. I washed my hair today. So it doesn't weigh the hair down, as you can see, and it just leaves it in really nice condition, and I can move my hair around, and it, it just falls really nicely, looks great, and is very, very healthy. It's also getting a little bit thicker. Thank you very much. So yeah, I, I am a big, big fan of Innersense uh, and their hair care line, and I've been using it for a couple of years, maybe. Then this is from Hollywood Hair Bar. This is their scalp oil. This is designed to for growth, for hair growth, and I've been through a couple of bottles of this, two at least, and um, it's okay. You know, it wasn't really, I didn't feel like I was getting like massive uh, ball spot fill-ins, so I decided to, I've been through this, it's their growth serum, and I decided to replace it with, from Hair Spa LA, this is their extra strength growth serum, similarly formulated to the uh, Hollywood Hair Bar one, a few extra different ingredients and in a higher strength. This is for people with alopecia, so I just got this this week. I've used it maybe three or four days in a row. And what I can say about this that is different from the Hollywood is that this is extremely lightweight. Doesn't weigh the hair down. I put it on today uh, on my ball spots here, you know, trying to working around the hairline and then the top back of my hair. And uh, my hair is not being weighed down by it because it is so lightweight. It's almost like a serum oil. So I'm looking forward to uh, using more of this and then reporting back to you as my hair starts growing in. <laughs> now it's like, I gotta stop and check my hair, hold on. Because if you've been watching this channel long enough, you know some days my hair is just like, <laughs> what, did she go through a windstorm before she sat down to film? Uh, but today it's, it's not that bad, so. Anyway, uh, I hope this, was fun for you. I hope uh, you got some good information. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please give the video a thumbs up. That really is important. It's more important than you know, especially for us smaller channels. Kind of lets YouTube know that we're doing something right. So only if you enjoyed what I presented today and if you feel like you got something out of it, then please give the video a thumbs up. Additionally, uh, if you'd like to subscribe, you know how to do that. That would be great. Love to have you. And, uh, geez, 
just don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next video. And, and so until I see you in that next video, I am wishing you a wonderful day, a wonderful week. Take good care of yourselves and I will talk to you again very, very soon. Bye!